Hey, it's Jude Lines, Manometer, and we were just on a hero call, but we were trying to get one of our hero members to share his screen with Zoom and let us control his programs, and we weren't able to because the program he was trying to control, that we were trying to control, was launched as an admin. And so I want to show you guys, um, these are some of the settings we recommend if you're going to do consultation calls with us, or if you even when you're trying to automate the programs. It's an interesting concept to make sure you understand when a program is elevated, Auto Hotkey or other programs often can't control it. So... Let me go ahead and switch to sharing my desktop. And in Zoom, you come down here to your settings and find your Zoom settings. So here's Zoom, right click, go to settings. Now in here, it, I'm also gonna mention a couple other ones you might like. Um, this use dual monitors, I prefer that. If you have more than one monitor, that is. Um, this always show meetings control. That's what has the Zoom toolbar always show up because otherwise if you hit Alt, it disappears and then you don't know how to go mute or how to share your screen or whatever. So I always check that, turn that on. And then come to the share screen options. This I highly recommend. Don't say full screen because that'll go over your taskbar and whatnot, but just to maximize it, right? That's a very handy one. Um, this one right here, enable the remote control of all applications. That's saying, it doesn't tell you that, but that says run Zoom as an admin, and therefore since it's an admin, it can control, and therefore if we are remote logged in through Zoom, we can control those other programs, right? So that's a really great one to have in there. Um, here, if you have it now, um, this one is actually great. This automatically share my desktop. It will pick, I think, your primary monitor and automatically when you hit share screen, it doesn't ask you which monitor. It just shares that one screen. And at first it's a little frustrating because you might have something somewhere else. But what you just learn over time is always have this one monitor where you want to share and you can just hit share and it shares that monitor instantly. It's, it's really great. The other really important one to have is this show my Zoom windows to other participants when I'm sharing a screen. Because when we're on a call, you will you might have a Zoom window up there and you're like, you can't find something and we don't see your Zoom windows. Like the other people watching don't see your, unless you enable this checkbox. Then it's really nice because we see what you see and it can be, that's why we can't tell people how to turn this on in Zoom because you won't even see it. Now you might see it on mine because I have that selected right in the recording, but I'm using OBS to record this just to avoid that. So those are some of the main ones. The other ones, this hotkeys, oh, I turn everything off because I don't want it to be used, um, especially the global ones. Although this show always show meeting controls, you can't even disable that, which is ludicrous. It's the alt key. That's the one I mentioned earlier too. I actually use auto hotkey to kill sending the alt key because I don't want that to hide my um, my Zoom, my meeting controls. It's ridiculous. So, and it's the fact that there's no, it's not bound to anything. These are all, you can set them with like control D or something, right? Oops, and I got rid of that window, but you get the idea. So I hope that helps. That'll help you, one, make our calls if you call us for a consultation. It'll be more productive because we can get right to the thick of things. Also, often, because this is what we do, it's easier for us to drive things on your computer. And so that's why we ask you to set this setting up. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you learned something. It really helps us out. Cheers.